The protein that the coronavirus uses to attach to human cells has a compact ridge that allows it to attach more strongly to human cells than similar viruses, allowing it to infect better and spread faster. The new coronavirus, SARS-CoV-2, attaches to human cells through what's called a spike protein. After the spike protein binds to the human receptor cell, a protein on the cell surface that serves as a door into the cell, the viral membrane fuses with the human cell membrane, allowing the genome of the virus to enter the human cells. All coronaviruses attach to human cells through spike proteins, but different coronaviruses have spike proteins with different structures. In February, a group of researchers at the University of Texas at Austin and the National Institutes of Health mapped out the molecular structure of the new coronavirus's spike protein. Now, another group of researchers used x-rays to further explore the coronavirus's spike protein and the human cell receptor it binds to. Their goal was to understand why the coronavirus's spike protein is so good at infecting cells compared with similar coronaviruses known as SARS-CoV that caused the severe acute respiratory syndrome, SARS, outbreak in 2003. Both SARS-CoV and SARS-CoV-2 bind to the same human receptor known as ACE2. They found that a few genetic mutations led the SARS-CoV-2 spike protein to develop a more compact molecular ridge than that of SARS-CoV. This more compact structure and several other small differences allow SARS-CoV-2 to attach more strongly to the human ACE2 receptor, thereby enabling it to better infect cells and thus spread faster than the SARS coronavirus. By studying the specifics of this virus and how it attaches to cells, the researchers also gained some insights into how the virus may have hopped from animals to humans. They discovered that a bat coronavirus also binds to the ACE2 receptor, but poorly. A few mutations could have increased the ability of the bat virus to attach to the human receptor, allowing the hop to humans. The researchers also analyzed the structure of the spike protein in pangolins, which could be an intermediate host between bats and humans. They found that one of the pangolin coronaviruses could potentially bind to the human receptor, supporting the notion that pangolins were intermediate hosts of the virus.